Have you ever pondered the true essence of what transpires when the spirit departs from the body? This remains one of humanity's most profound mysteries, with few daring to venture deep into its exploration. However, there exists a hidden truth that has the potential to completely transform your understanding of life and death. In the teachings of Buddhism, there are profound and revealing answers that extend well beyond the common knowledge that most of us possess. Prepare yourself to uncover a reality that could challenge your beliefs and alter your life forever. In this video, we will delve into the core of Buddhist teachings concerning the precise moment when the spirit separates from the physical body. Is it a form of rebirth, a transition to another dimension, or simply the ultimate end? You will gain insights into the concept of bardo, the intermediate state between life and death, and discover how this understanding can cultivate profound and lasting peace within you. Have you ever questioned whether you are living in alignment with your true purpose? Picture having access to rare knowledge insights that have the potential to help you live more consciously and fully. This video will guide you through the ancient, little-known secrets shared by Buddhist masters, revealing your spiritual path. If you've ever sensed there is more beyond our material understanding, or that the cycle of life and death serves a greater purpose, then you are precisely where you need to be. This is the moment to open your mind and welcome new ideas into your life. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any more illuminating revelations like this. Consider becoming a channel member to gain access to exclusive content that delves even deeper into the understanding of the spirit and mind. And leave a comment below, proclaiming, I am light, peace, and wisdom. To start attracting positive energy and vibrations into your life. Have you ever really contemplated what happens at the moment the spirit leaves the body? While most view death as a definitive end, Buddhist teachings interpret it as just the beginning of a new and mysterious journey. What you are about to learn may challenge everything you think you know about life, death, and the afterlife. Stay with us until the end of this video, because the answers may be more astonishing than you expect. Imagine for a moment that the life you understand is merely a small fragment of a much larger cycle. In Buddhism, this cycle is known as samsara, the eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. What does this mean for you? It signifies that every choice, thought, and action you make shapes a path that extends far beyond your current existence. This path defines what happens when your spirit finally departs from your physical body. Are you ready to comprehend how your actions today impact your destiny tomorrow? But here lies the true enigma. What transpires at the exact moment when the spirit leaves the body? Buddhist teachings describe a transitional phase, where the soul can either enter a state of extraordinary clarity or succumb to total confusion. But what will your destiny be? Will you be prepared for what comes next? There are depictions of unknown realms, unique states of consciousness, and experiences that transcend our everyday understanding. Can you imagine perceiving your own existence in such a profound and transformative way? Make no mistake, understanding Buddhist insights on death is not merely about the end of life. It's about living in a way that imbues deep meaning and purpose. If you are searching for a truth that penetrates beyond the superficial, offering a new perspective on life, 
and what lies beyond. You are in exactly the right place. Don't go anywhere, because what you are about to discover could change everything. When the spirit separates from the body, what truly occurs? In Buddhism, this moment marks the start of a journey through a state known as transition and intermediate phase. Between the end of one life and the beginning of another, imagine being suspended between two worlds no longer in the physical realm, yet not fully reborn into the next. This intermediate state is a realm of great mystery and transformation. Here, the soul has the opportunity to perceive the profound truth of its existence. But the nature of this experience can vary drastically depending on the individual's level of consciousness and the karma accumulated during their lifetime. This is a space where time and reality, as we know them, no longer exist. The experiences here are shaped by our emotions fears, desires, and merits. At the moment of death, the soul enters a phase of extreme clarity, often described as encountering a clear light. This light is not a physical phenomenon, but a manifestation of the mind's true nature a window to the infinite. Those who are spiritually prepared can recognize this light as an opportunity for liberation a chance to break free from the cycle of birth and death and achieve the state of nirvana. However, most souls, disoriented by the abrupt change, fail to recognize this light. For them, this moment of clarity lasts only briefly before confusion sets back in, plunging them into a disoriented state. Many Buddhist masters explain that at this juncture, the spirit begins to cling to what is familiar, struggling against the unknown. During this transition, the spirit may encounter a series of visions and experiences reflecting its mental and emotional state. Imagine being in a lucid dream where everything you perceive is created by your own mind. Some may see visions of peace and serenity, filled with luminous beings and sensations of profound love, while others may encounter terrifying visions representing their fears, attachments, and regrets. For instance, a person who lived a life filled with hatred or anger might see menacing figures or feel as though they are being pursued by shadows. Conversely, an individual who has cultivated kindness and compassion may encounter welcoming and radiant beings of these experiences bear a striking resemblance to the accounts of individuals who have been in deep comas. Many such individuals describe visions of bright lights or encounters with guiding entities. Consider the case of a woman who entered a coma following a car accident. She reported seeing an intense and warm light that enveloped her in a sense of peace she had never before experienced. However, this peace was interrupted by disturbing visions of figures she referred to as guardians, who confronted her with memories and choices from her life. Upon waking, she interpreted these figures as representations of her conscience, judging her past actions. As the transition continues, the spirit may begin to encounter spiritual guides that appear to offer assistance. These guides are not external figures, but internal projection spiritual masters deceased relatives or beings of light here to guide the soul. They help the soul remember its true essence and what it should do next. Those who are prepared can interact with these guides, receiving clear instructions on how to move forward. However, for those confused or fearful, 
These guides may be perceived as threats, leading to a further state of disorientation. The key to navigating these experiences lies in maintaining a state of calm and acceptance. Resistance or fear can turn a potentially liberating experience into a frightening ordeal. For those who remain disoriented, the journey through the transition state can become a series of chaotic experiences. The spirit may undergo a series of internal tests where every emotion, thought, and karmic seed is confronted. These visions and trials are not punishments, but opportunities for the soul to understand itself and its past actions. Imagine being in an interactive movie where you are simultaneously the director, actor, and spectator. Decisions made during this phase are crucial, shaping the path to the next rebirth. Each moment offers a choice between fear and wisdom, anger and compassion. Finally, the spirit enters the last phase of this transition, experiencing an attraction toward a new rebirth. Here, the accumulated karma plays a pivotal role. Some Buddhist traditions describe this moment as a tunnel of light through which the spirit passes, leading to a new life. The spirit may see images of its future parents or the environment of its next life, feeling an instinctive attraction or aversion. For instance, there are reports of individuals with near-death experiences who felt a powerful attraction or repulsion upon seeing a particular place or family, as if they knew that was their next destination. During this final phase, the spirit must choose to move on to the next rebirth or seek a form of enlightenment that transcends the cycle of life and death. The choices made at this moment depend on the level of clarity and peace this spirit can maintain. If the spirit is prepared and at peace, it can choose wisely and continue its spiritual journey. Otherwise, it may be drawn back into the cycles of existence, often returning to a state of oblivion where the same patterns of life and death repeat. This is why, according to Buddhism, spiritual preparation during life is so vital. It can determine the entire experience after death. This journey through the state of transition reminds us that death is not an end, but a continuation and opportunity for growth and evolution. Buddhist teachings about this phase of existence serve as powerful reminders that our actions, intentions, and the state of our mind are fundamental. For those seeking to understand and prepare, there is a path of practice and wisdom that can make all the difference in this intermediate state. And in the next segments, we will explore how exactly we can prepare for this journey, maintaining calm, clarity, and wisdom within our hearts. As the soul traverses the state of transition, it faces a critical juncture deciding between freeing itself from the cycle of life and death, or proceeding to a new rebirth. But what truly determines our destination in the next life? This is where the concepts of reincarnation and the powerful laws of karma come into play. In Buddhism, Reincarnation is a guided process influenced by the seeds we plant throughout our lives. Every action, thought, and intention directly impacts what happens to us when we cross the threshold of death. Karma, in Buddhist understanding, is the universal law of cause and effect. Unlike the popular notion of karma as merely punishment, or reward. It is more about balance and consequence. Picture yourself constantly planting seeds some good, 
some not so much. Each seed represents an action or intention, and these seeds will eventually grow, yielding results corresponding to what was sown. In the context of reincarnation, these seeds determine the form, circumstances, and even the realm of existence into which the spirit will be reborn. The spirit that leaves the body in the state of transition is now guided by these seeds of karma. Think of life as a vast field where we are all continuously sowing. The experiences in the state of transition are the harvest of what we have planted during life. For example, an individual who lived with anger and resentment might find a path of reincarnation in circumstances reflecting those emotions. Perhaps they are reborn in an environment of conflict or poverty, where these feelings are intensified. Conversely, someone who lived a life of compassion and generosity might find a more auspicious reincarnation. In an environment of peace and support, stories of past lives and near-death experiences often reflect this logic of cause and effect. Numerous accounts exist of individuals who, after near-death experiences, returned with memories of past lives or feelings of déjà vu. One such story involves a man who, after a severe accident, fell into a coma and experienced a series of intense visions of a completely different life. He saw himself as a farmer in a distant land, facing specific struggles and challenges. Upon awakening, these visions remained vivid, and detailed research confirmed historical accuracies within his visions. Was his mind accessing memories of a past life, guided by his karma? But reincarnation is not merely about where or in what form you are reborn. It is also about potential spiritual evolution. In Buddhism, the ultimate goal is to attain enlightenment a state of liberation from the cycle of rebirths. Each life offers a new opportunity to learn, grow, and purify accumulated negative karma. A classical example is the story of the Buddha, who underwent countless lifetimes, each full of challenges and learnings, until finally attaining enlightenment. Each reincarnation was a step closer to this state of liberation. However, reincarnation can also present challenges, particularly for those carrying significant negative karma. When the spirit is unaware of its own patterns of thought and behavior, it can easily fall into recurring cycles of suffering, lifetime after lifetime. Imagine, for example, an individual who continually experiences painful relationships or financial hardships, life after life. Without understanding Buddhist teachings on karma, they might feel trapped and hopeless, unaware that they possess the power to change their own trajectory. The critical question then becomes, how can we utilize this understanding of karma and reincarnation to transform our current and future lives? Buddhism teaches that by cultivating qualities such as compassion, patience, and wisdom, and by engaging in spiritual practices like meditation and reflection. We can not only enhance our present lives, but also create favorable conditions for future reincarnations. The key lies in awareness being mindful of our actions and intentions at every moment. This can be likened to becoming the conscious gardener of your own field of karma choosing to plant seeds that will yield peace, love, and liberation. Thus, through a deep understanding of the laws of karma and the concept of reincarnation, 
we learn to navigate the vast ocean of existence more effectively. With this knowledge, every decision becomes an opportunity to shape our destiny, both now and in future lifetimes. And this leads us to the next part of this video, where we will explore the spiritual practices that help prepare the mind and spirit to face these cycles of life and death with greater clarity, purpose, and ultimately achieve enlightenment. After understanding the profound impact of karma and the cycle of reincarnation it influences, a fundamental question arises. How can we better prepare for death and what follows? In Buddhism, Numerous spiritual practices not only help us live more conscientiously, but also prepare the spirit to face the transition of death with peace and clarity. The key lies in transforming our mind and heart, because the state of our mind at the moment of death determines the experiences we will encounter in the transition state and the nature of our next rebirth. One highly recommended practice is regular meditation, particularly meditation on impermanence and death. While many may find it uncomfortable to meditate on death, Buddhist masters emphasize its crucial role in diminishing fear and attachment. By contemplating the impermanence of all things, including our own body, and existence. We cultivate a mental state that accepts death as a natural part of life's cycle. This preparation allows the mind to be less prone to panic or confusion. When the moment of transition arrives, such practice enables the spirit to enter a state of clear light more readily, recognizing it as its true nature rather than getting lost in visions of fear or disorientation. Besides meditation, another powerful practice is the use of mantras and prayers, which help calm and focus the mind. Throughout life, reciting specific mantras, such as Om Mani Padm Hum, is believed to purify negative karma and accumulate spiritual merit. At the moment of death, these mantras can be used to keep the mind focused and connected to positive spiritual energies, facilitating a smoother transition through the intermediate state. There are accounts of advanced practitioners who, by reciting mantras on their deathbeds, experienced profound peace and mental clarity enabling them to recognize the clear light and proceed without fear. Buddhist masters also stress the importance of practicing kindness and compassion throughout life. These practices not only improve our karma and promote more favorable reincarnations, but also condition the mind to react with calm and love during uncertain moments, such as at death. People who cultivate compassion benefit not only others, but also establish an inner foundation of peace that strongly manifests at the time of their passing. An example of this can be seen in the accounts of nurses who care for patients in palliative care. Those who have lived lives of generosity and compassion tend to have more serene and conscious transitions than those filled with anger or attachment. Another essential practice involves conscious preparation for the moment of death. Known as Fawa in Tibetan Buddhism, Fawa involves visualizing the transfer of consciousness at the moment of death to a higher state, or a pure land, away from the cycle of painful rebirths. The goal is to train the practitioner to direct their consciousness to a higher spiritual state. At the time of death, those who master this practice can choose their next reincarnation, or even escape the cycle of reincarnation, attaining nirvana. 
These spiritual practices not only prepare the spirit for death, but also enrich our lives with meaning and consciousness. They serve as tools for continuous spiritual growth, shaping not just who we are now, but who we will become in future lives. This is what we will explore in the final part of this video. Practical ways to apply these teachings in daily life to achieve peace now, and in the journey that follows. After examining the complexities of death, reincarnation, and karma, it's natural to still feel apprehensive about the unknown. However, the truth is that if you live with compassion, kindness, and a pure heart, there is no reason to fear death. In Buddhism, the end of one life marks a new beginning and offers the chance to continue learning, growing, and evolving into an ever more enlightened being. It is common for our souls to choose to return to the same families or environments, where we feel love and comfort, or even where we believe we can continue learning and helping others. Think about it. The connections you have now, the loves, the friendships, and even the family challenges, all can be part of a continuous cycle of mutual growth and learning. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? Imagine that the relationships you currently cherish, the deep bonds of friendship, the romantic loves, and even the complex, often trying, family dynamics are all part of an intricate dance of souls. These connections, according to various spiritual traditions and philosophies, are not mere coincidences, but rather deliberate choices made by your soul before incarnating. The essence behind this belief is that our souls gravitate towards environments and individuals that will facilitate their growth. This means that every person who touches your life plays a role in your spiritual evolution. So, with this perspective, death is not a farewell, but rather a see you soon on a path of evolution that never ceases. It is a comforting thought that death does not signify an end, but a transition. Our souls, undeterred by the physical cessation of life, Continue on a journey that is timeless and boundless. Every lifetime is a chapter that leads to the next, each filled with its own set of experiences and lessons. And more than that, you have an active role in this process. You can, in fact, choose what your next life will be like and what challenges you will face. Although this choice according to Buddhist teachings, is not made consciously like daily planning. It is an integral part of our spiritual journey. It is shaped through the karma you accumulate and the intentions you keep in your heart. Karma, a fundamental concept in Buddhism and Hinduism, can be understood as the sum of a person's actions in this and previous states of existence determining their fate in future existences. If you are going through difficulties now, such as an illness, a loss, or an emotional challenge, it is because, at some level, your soul knew you were capable of overcoming it. These challenges are not punishments, but rather opportunities for profound personal and spiritual growth. They are the universe's way of nudging you toward your highest potential. By facing and overcoming these difficulties, you develop resilience, strength, and wisdom. It is akin to the way physical muscles grow stronger when subjected to resistance. Believe it. If you are facing a problem, it is because you have the strength and wisdom to deal with it. Your soul long before incarnating, already knew the challenges it would encounter and chose this journey to learn something valuable. 
develop some quality, or even help others grow. Every obstacle is a reminder that you are much stronger and wiser than you think. Instead of viewing these moments as burdens, see them as stages on your path to enlightenment. Each adversity is a stepping stone paving the way towards greater understanding and spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, do not fear death, for it is merely a transition to something your soul already knows and is prepared for. Trust in yourself and the journey your soul has chosen. You carry within you the tools and capabilities needed to face any challenge that comes your way. This trust and self-belief are crucial, as they not only help you navigate the trials of life, but also empower you to embrace the beauty of each experience. And when the time comes to make the transition, remember, you will only be returning home, whether in a new form, in a new place, or perhaps even back to the environment of love you have always known. Life is a cycle, and each turn brings the chance to be a little better, to love a little more, and to get closer and closer to enlightenment. This cyclical nature of life and death ensures that each lifetime offers new opportunities for growth, love, and enlightenment. If you have made it this far, I hope this journey has brought a new perspective on life, death, and the spiritual purpose of each of us. Remember, death is not the end, but a new beginning, and every challenge we face is an opportunity to evolve. If these teachings have brought clarity, comfort, or even a new vision for your life, don't forget to show your support. Take the opportunity to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content on spirituality, self-knowledge, and personal evolution. Each video is created with great care and intention to help you on your journey. And your support is crucial for us to continue bringing this content. If you want to go even deeper into these topics and have access to exclusive content, such as guided meditations, special classes, and in-depth discussions on spiritual topics, consider becoming a channel member. It's a great way to connect more closely with this community and continue your quest for wisdom and enlightenment. And before you go, share your reflections in the comments or a positive affirmation that you believe can help others grow spiritually. Let's together build a space of support, learning and inspiration. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.